Hello everyone, my name is Dave Partner and in this video I'll teach you the fastest way to install any web framework ever and it's the way to install CakePHP. CakePHP came up with something called Oven. Oven is just a file that you put inside a folder and you visit it on your browser and when it opens you just click and install CakePHP. Just one click and install it installs everything CakePHP. Just amazing. You can, you can also install CakePHP via Composer or you can direct, download it directly. So there are several different ways to install cake php in this tutorial i'll show you how to do it with oven so what you do basically is um visit github.com slash cakedc slash oven and uh, you will see this um this repository and you head over to the right and copy i've copied it on my keyboard i've copied this url as you can see it's the official cake php repository and um, oven is officially from cake php so i'll head over to my command prompt on my system and make sure you are in your root folder for your server. I'm running one server, as you can see in the lower right corner. You have one server here. I'm running one server. So I have my root folder in www. If you're running like XAMPP, you should have it in HD Docs. So you navigate into the, that folder and create a new directory. This is the folder right here. I can as well right click here, hit on new and create folder. So, but I want to do it from my command prompt so whichever way is better for you i'm going to call this cake microservice because down the line we'll be building a microservice platform all right so i'm going to hit enter and it creates it so the next thing i want to do is um, navigate into the new folder we created and the microservice and um, we are going to clone the repository and we have git clone open so i hit enter and wait for it to finish cloning so make sure you have your internet running if you don't have internet this won't work so because it's actually downloading from the internet so once it works well the next moment we move over to the folder so let's hit our browser i'm going to open a new for a new browser then i hit localhost and of course make sure that your warm server is running i'll hit localhost slash cake microservice and then we will wait for it to open so um of course my warm server has issues obviously the issue we have is that we're not navigating right into the folder correctly so we we'll just verify in our warm server we have um cake microservice we have open and inside oven we have an oven.php so we go to cake microservice slash oven slash oven.php so when we have this like this we can hit um enter and we wait it opens oven so oven is open in our folder so as you can see it's going to create it's going to download into this folder and then in the end we can just copy it, uh, one folder up as we want so which version of cake php are you downloading better or stable i'm downloading stable which is 3.4 so then are you going to install composer in the current directory or yes and i would basically you don't need to change any default here and this has the um this is asking for my database username and password as you can see i have it already here so um my host is localhost and um, my username is um, root and then of course I know my password I'm going to type it here then what do we call the um, database name so we have to go to a WAMP server or, or PHP MyAdmin and create our database so that we can add the name right here so that means we head over to our browser and we type in localhost slash php my admin and then our php my admin interface opens up so we log in and then we create a new a new uh, a new database uh, in our database all right so we create a new database with on databases and then when it opens the next thing we are going to create is the name of the application so i'll call it kick microservice kick microservice all right, so that's the name of our database. So we save, of course, we copy this name and uh, cake microservice, we copy it and head over to our oven and put it inside the oven because we like some new cake, cool cake to be baked. So we have our database details set up here. And um, if you just downloaded your one server, you know that this password should be empty and you have root. 
me i have a password for my database so uh, first of all we test the connection and we wait and uh, something is wrong okay obviously i typed the wrong password so i have it typed out here so we test connection one more time and we are good to go so we turn our oven on as you can see this is a key facing your left and turn it to the right and wait yes you can save it and blah blah, blah. as you can see i love this turning icon it's installing composer and then depending on the speed of your internet service this could take between a few seconds to um, a few minutes so um, my composer has finished installing and uh, setting up kph for me and all i have to do is just wait all right this normally should take you like a few seconds but because um i'm making a tutorial that's why it took this long just to put you through the process but then if you're setting up your next kph site this is just basically a few seconds head over to github download it head over to your command line navigate to the folder create a new folder install oven inside it and you are good to go all right so we're back there i'm going to pause this video so once this is true we uh continue to see our cake php application so there we are our cake php installation has completed and the next thing we will have to do is to go to our folder and see that a lot of things have been installed inside this oven so um, the next thing we will do is to uh, quickly start up our application and there you have it um, your complete cake php uh, folder all right so uh, this is how to install cake php using oven in the past tutorial i showed how to install it using composer and a whole lot of other things so from here on i we will be uh, building a microservice platform with cake php very powerful robust and mic uh, and the rapid uh, microservice platform with cake php but before then personally me you might just leave your app like this but personally me i like to copy make sure that my app is on the root folder so i would um i'll copy this young man here and move the whole thing up to this guy so that once I, I, I put www slash cake microservice, I will arrive at my cake PHP application. So I'm pasting everything here. So depending on how you want your folder level to be organized in your application, you can decide to leave it the way it is or you move yours up. Because you know, if you use Composer from the command line to install it, it will be, it will be directly um, on the first folder level. All right. So see you in the next tutorial where we build a powerful microservice platform with cake. Thanks.